Hey guys and welcome back. This is still the same day, same episode, but we are bringing you some more awesomeness from our lovely guests. Today we have John Smith, as you know from our previous episode. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I like to ask a lot of questions and I also like to talk a lot. She does. So yeah. So <laughs> and I don't find it offensive. It's it's true. So what I'd like to do today is ask uh, John some questions about recording music and uh, what it's like and all those kinds of things. So are you fine with that? Yeah, you can go ahead. Help us out. Maybe somebody's wanting to know these um, answers to these questions and you're going to get them. So here we go. So tell me when you are preparing a song for recording, what's, yes. what's the first step? I mean, you've got the song. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> well, now basically you kind of, you try to you try to step because when you when you write a song it's obviously very very personal it's yeah. very intimate actually yeah. so you, so what you try to do before you take it to studio is you try to kind of get out of that mindset yeah take a bit more of an objective approach okay honestly honestly I ask my parents okay like, <laughs> well you know what they can they can be like why did you say that exactly, like exactly. that doesn't make sense exactly. and then you like all like um yeah I don't like you anymore. <laughs> So I guess yeah. you're right. If you're not, uh, if you take everything personally, it's yeah, it's, it's going to be a difficult process. It's going to be very difficult. So so okay. you, you just remove from that mindset, play it, play it again, record it, listen it to it. I mean, record it on your phone. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Listen to it ten thousand times until okay. you want to barf. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I that's feel like that when I'm learning lyrics. <laughs> okay, so that's 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 a very interesting um, point that you made there. I actually didn't think of that. You can you can. It's easy to take things personally. Yeah. Especially when you have like written your heart and soul and tears exactly. into the song and then people are like what's it about I don't understand. <laughs> yeah okay i get that okay cool next one now the process of recording yeah. how long does that take for somebody that doesn't know like let's say you just want to record one song versus recording an album like what's the duration for those oh, that really depends i mean it depends on the uh, musicians you work with it depends yeah. on how good you are how much you've practiced it depends on the song itself but i mean more or less um from start to finish you, you can give yourself for a, for let, let's say for one song about yeah. three days but okay. that's just let's say four instruments three days and that's one song and a good producer and a good producer such as Ranir. yeah <laughs> <laughs> we know this we know this. okay cool and then an album an album would no that could take let, probably depending on how prepared yeah, you are yeah on, but, but but let's say you you're fairly well prepared and you've got four instruments once again let's say a month okay from start to so finish. that's that's not too long but that mm. you need to be prepared like yes and Let's say for those people that like want to record, but they they just have a few like chord progressions and a little bit of lyrics, yeah. and they don't know where to go from there. They don't even have people to play instruments. Mm. What would their process be like if they came to a a production studio? Oh wow, that's a very good question. Um, so basically, then you would you would come with the raw version of your song, yeah, which is about. about <laughs> I speak French on Sundays. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so basically, when you come with the raw song, that would probably just be like the vocal and like one instrument maybe. Okay. And then from there, you'll probably work with the production team or the producer himself. Yeah. Take it from there and build the song from the, you know, from the bottom up. Yeah. yeah. So if they wanted to make an album, people with that kind of... Um uh, amount of work that's been put into their stuff which is minimal yeah how long could that take once again really depends anything from let's say one month to a year two okay. years yeah okay yeah i guess if they really have nothing pre prepared at all yes and exactly it's exactly. back and forth it could take and I remember long. i mean when you when you're in the production state of the music that's actually that takes the longest yeah because you'll you'll put in a part today and then Two weeks later, it doesn't sound good anymore for okay. whatever reason. Okay. Or you've tried something new or whatever. Yeah, no, I've, I've felt that with mm. some of the stuff I've recorded. Then I'm like, my voice sounds dumb. I need to re-record it. Exactly, this. exactly. Like, I do that all the time because yeah. I'm weird when it comes to my voice. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So um, when you are recording in the studio, yeah. like you hear people singing and then you hear backing vocals. Is yes. that... Like, I know for me what the process has been, mm. but what is the process? Like, is it backing vocals? Is it other people? Or is it, like, you recording them? So, 
once again, it depends how much money you have because that's a big, big factor. Okay. It depends um, on whether you actually have backing vocals in the song itself. In general, yeah. Um, you'll probably have a team of other vocalists, um, and they'll be recorded separ separately from you. Okay. So yeah. You'll do the because it's the lead vocal. Yeah. You'll do the lead vocal on your own so that you're not. Um, what do you call it? Confused. Confused with harmonies. Yeah, yes, some yes. people do struggle with the harmonies, so that, exactly. that actually does help. And it, and it's and it's quite daunting those. having like ten people singing in your ear. Yeah, mm. that is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, for me, I I do all my harmonies and I record them. So I'll record the yeah. lead. And then I'll be like, okay, first harmony, and I'll record the harmony, and then th they'll need another one, and then I'll do yeah, exactly, that one. Exactly, exactly. So I just layer it up as I go. Yeah. Okay, but that's cool. Yeah, it, it's it does depend if you have the the finances yeah. to pay for these for people these that actually musicians. come and do. Yeah. You gotta get work somehow. Exactly. Okay, cool. And then recording. This is a big one. Um, recording instruments, and it's mm. also my last question because mm. I know that you you play instruments. Do you like go into the studio and then record? while you are singing or yeah. or do you also do that separately like how does that work and also yeah. to to add to that what happens if you don't play all the other instruments like mm. you need bass but you only play guitar and you need drums like yeah. what is that process yeah. can you do you hire other people or mm. what can what are the possibilities there with that yeah so on your first question or first part of that question yeah um, you you don't record vocals and guitars at the same time. Okay, separate. Um, yeah, it's always separate because you okay. need the best, obviously the best of both at once. Yes. Right? Um, so full concentration on full each. Full concentration on okay. each. And you need to be, especially with the instruments, it's not as difficult with the vocals, but yeah. especially with the instruments, you need to be on the click. Yeah. And that can be very tricky. And you can get lost if you're singing at the exactly, same time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and then you're trying to concentrate on both. So, um, no, that's definitely separate. And what, what was the second question again? Um, the so the part? second part is basically, what do you do if all you do is play guitar, but you also need a bass, oh, yes, drums, also need drums. You know, yeah, piano. Yeah. So luckily for me, I'm very fortunate with working with Anil because he plays a few. Everything. Quite, yeah, everything. <laughs> And he plays it well, which is quite annoying. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know. No, but it, but, it, but it helps a lot. I, I, um, if if we want to outsource, we can outsource. Okay. Of, so you can go to so hire session musicians. Hire session musicians. You can go to a website called Fiverr. You okay. You can get a lot of people there. Cool. Uh, some fantastic musicians on there, or just people you know, or whatever. You can well, even you can put a status update and get a lot of opinions. Exactly. Yeah. You can do that as you well. Can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then for those people that don't have the finances to hire other musicians to, yeah. to do their, their session work mm. do they have an option or is the only option like they actually do have an option okay because uh, what a lot of these recording programs do is they recorded loops into okay. the program itself so all you would have to do or your producer would have to do is to take that loop and kind of copy and paste okay. throughout the entire song so basically you're looking at it's not going to be as like warm and, and um custom yeah, yeah yeah but you're going to be able to get a track uh, a complete track based yes. on electronic sounds and exactly, things like that exactly okay cool so your producer can literally build an entire song for you without having other people come and play instruments precisely that's pretty cool yeah okay guys thank you john thank, thank you, so you very much, for, much for sharing your insight and your knowledge um <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope you learned something for those of you that are wanting to record um and had these questions let me know in the comments if you actually learned something from this and uh we will be doing more of these so enjoy the rest of your day bye